All right, so the first thing when you're in ClassLink, I want to show you how to pin a tab in Chrome. So if you come up to the tab for ClassLink and you right click on it, you'll be able to pin this tab. What that means is there's no longer an X up there, so you're not going to accidentally close it. We're going to use that feature for Google Meet shortly. So the next thing I want you to do is I want you to click on Google Classroom. Once inside your Google Classroom, I want you to click on the class you'll be doing live instruction in. And then I want you to go ahead and click on that Meet link so that you'll do some live instruction with your students right there. Next, you're going to have to click on Join Now. And this little pop-up, you could just close. And now that you're in this call, go ahead and mute it at the bottom. We're going to mute this call. And then I want you to go up to the tab and right-click, and we're going to pin. So you're going to see this little recording button right here. That's going to be our Google Meet for our live instruction. Next, I want you to go back into your class link, and I want you to click on Google Meet. And next, you're going to click on Join or Start a Meeting. And then we're going to click continue. And now you're going to click join now. And this time you want to grab in this pop up, we want to grab this link because we're going to put it in our classroom so our students can come to this breakout room. So control C is copy. And then we're going to come right back into our classroom and we're going to paste it in here. If you need help, please click here. And we're going to paste, control V, and we're going to post that. So now your students, if they need any one-on-one -on -one assistance during the assignment, they can click here. So next, go ahead and go back up to the tab where we opened up that meet. We can close this, we can mute, and we can also go up and we can pin this tab. So go ahead and pin. So this first one here with the record button, that's going to be your live instruction. All your students will show up in this window. And yet, if they need to go and get some assistance from you, you have this next window open right here, and this is where you'll be. So here's the best practice you'll want to do is when in this live instruction, all your students are here, once they start doing some independent work, I would suggest that you turn your camera off so they don't see if you're on the other call or this call. They just assume you're watching them work. And then you also have this one open, which I would also turn that camera off until you use it. Anytime a student pops in here, you'll see them, you'll hear them, and then you can go ahead and turn your camera on. You can turn your mic on, and then you can go ahead and help that student. And just like always, when you're done with the call, you'll go ahead and hang up those calls. And I'd go to the other one, and I'd hang up those, that call as well. And remember to unpin these. I need to right click, unpin, and then I'm able to click it. If you need any help when you're going through this, reach out to the tech trainers.